In section two, we're going to find a few different things. We're going to find the new balance, kind of like we did in section one. Uh, we're going to find the unpaid balance, which is the amount of money you still owe on your credit card. And we're going to find the finance charge, which is the amount of interest you're being charged on that unpaid amount on your credit card. So there's a formula, again, that works with section two. I'm going to put that on the top here so we can see how this works. To find the new balance, you're going to do a few things here. First thing you're going to do is take the unpaid balance. And once again, that's the amount of money you still owe on the credit card. To that, you're going to add your finance charge. Now, just like in section one, finance charge is the amount of interest you're being charged on your credit card. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll add on any new purchases. Now there's a reason new purchases go on at the end. It's the last thing you will always do. Here's the reason for that. Your new purchases, you will not be charged interest on that until you've had about a month to pay that uh, those new purchases off. So if you pay those new purchases to your credit card company, if you make a payment on those purchases, you will not be charged any interest. Okay, so we want to put that on at the end. Because if you put it on in the beginning, you will be charged interest on that when we find the finance charge. So you want the new purchases to come at the, at the end because you will not be, paid, uh, not be charged interest on those until you've had about a month to pay it off. Now, if a month goes by and you haven't paid those off, then the uh, credit card company will charge you interest for those, but that will come on the next month's unpaid balance. So let's do it for this month here. Here's our example. We have a previous balance of 125.50. We're going to make a payment of $45.50 and make uh, new purchases of $82.50. Finance charge is going to be 2.5% of the unpaid balance. We have to find all three of these, the unpaid balance, finance charge, and the new balance. So let's start with the first part of our formula, the unpaid balance. Unpaid balance is the amount you still owe on your credit card. So from the previous month, we still owed $125.50. But we made a payment of $45.50. So we're going to take that money off. We no longer owe that $45.50 that we paid them. So when you subtract these, you're going to come down to $80. <clears throat> That's going to be your unpaid balance. So there's the first answer they want. Unpaid balance is 80 bucks. <clears throat> now, the next thing we're going to do is find your finance charge. Finance charge is going to be the amount of interest you're charged on the amount you haven't paid back yet. Well, at this point, we have not paid $80 back to the credit card company. We still owe them $80. We're going to get charged 2.5% interest on that $80. So the next thing we do is take $80 times 2.5%, which you can either put the 2.5 in your calculator and hit the percent button, or you can move your decimal 2 to the left to give you 0.025. And if I grab my calculator, 80 times 0 0.025 is $2. This is going to be your finance charge. So on that $80 you owed them, you're going to have to pay $2 in interest. Now the last thing we want is the new balance. New balance is all of the money that we still owe the credit card company. So for my new balance, I'm going to start with that 80 bucks because we still owe them 80 bucks. We have to pay two dollars for a finance charge, and we're going to put on our new purchases. So we're just following this uh, equation right here: unpaid balance plus finance charge plus your new purchases. New purchases is up here. That's 82.50. And if we add those all together, we're at $164.50. And this would be your new balance on the credit card. So again, the important thing here, when you're following this uh, formula here, new purchases have to go on at the end. You will, not pay, uh, you will not pay interest on those new purchases until you've had some time to pay it off to the credit card. So put those on at the end so that you don't get uh, charged interest on those. If you do that too soon, it will mess up your formula, mess up the amount of your new balance. So always put the new purchases on at the end.